as you can tell, um, I haven't showered today, so I am wearing a hat. It's, you see, I posted uh, it, buddy, for the first time in a while. I know, I know, dude. Roman is back from the dead. Thank the Lord. Did you see how many uh, reels we got now and stuff? You're freaking crushing it. We're, we, we're at yeah. a billion um, Insta followers now. Nice work. <laughs> yeah, we. you know what? I just sent out um, a check to get some more um, follow, follower bots. Um, <laughs> pretty much all our followers, I think, they must be, like, located in other countries other than the U.S., like, just, just sitting there, like, boom, 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 foul, foul, foul. So it's been working pretty well, if you ask me. I mean, the Instagram... Yeah. Um, Instagram's paying us big, so yeah. But if you guys haven't checked out, uh, Roman posted an Instagram. Make sure to check it out. Um, and he is back. He's back, and he's better. I think is that, so. Is that what you'd say? Yeah, it's um, it's a big day for me. R P E N on all my lists. Wow. Yeah, because I'm gonna That's be great. In week, so might as well go hard or go home, right? Are you going to be lifting in California at all? Uh, maybe, yeah. You're going to see if there's maybe a gym on, like, Blue Cross? That's what I was going to do, yeah. I can only imagine what gyms are out there. Yeah. We'll Probably see. not a lot, but... Oh, not. oh but... Um, you think you and Sam will be able to make it out um, to go for a hike? Yes. Nice. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably talk about that offline, but Roman, we're going to be, we're going to be planning uh, on hanging out with Roman in California. Uh, this weekend to go hiking. Um, Antoine, Antoine might have to retire from hiking. I've been uh, hiking, what, I think um, I did three hikes last weekend, and then, yeah. So. You get, like, almost 20 miles on you this weekend? Yeah, we did seven the first day, seven the second day at the Grand Canyon. Oh, by the way, um, we tried to do Bright Angel. Yeah. Uh, the the trail was like covered in snow and ice, so we actually didn't do that. Yeah, I bet. Um, so we did seven that day, and then only like one or two miles, like the third day. It was like a pretty small hike. It was like something where like they wanted to do like a hot hike, where it was like in Phoenix, and um, you know, just to get a view of like the the valley, pretty much. So overall, like sixteen miles in three days. So not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to hike again. Honestly, hiking is really fun. Yeah. Um, I think I broke my butt though. So I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it, Roman. Like, have you ever, like, have you ever, like, as a kid, like played football, like street football or like street basketball or street hockey even, and you fall like right on your, like your rear end, like that's how it feels. And I don't know how the hell this happened. <laughs> like. Um, I think it might have been the farmer's carries. Just but it, no, I, I was I was in pain before I did the farmer's carries. If anything, oh, really? yeah, yeah, I was in pain before then. Okay. Huh. So I don't know. Yeah, hard to say. Maybe I should have stopped lifting. I'll just become a runner. Yeah, there you go. Oh, speaking Definitely. of which, I didn't tell you. Uh, my brother wants me to do um, a marathon. Uh, did yeah. I tell you? Yeah. Yeah, next yeah. January next january dang where in uh disney so it's it would be at disney uh, world in florida um i think it's like the end of january but yeah he wants me to do it i said probably sure yes maybe that's like a total that's like a total midwest answer right there uh then I'll, I'll, I'll have to come i'll have to schedule out and come and uh cheer you on yeah Sam, sam's not gonna run it she's gonna be there watching um and then my sister-in-law, I think, is doing it, too. So it would be us three doing it. Um, nice. Honestly, though, I feel like I should be fine. Um, yeah. part, part of this, part of this, like, doing this stuff, though, too, is, like, um, because, we, you know, I did, the, I did bodybuilding. I did powerlifting. You know, um, I just want to kind of show people that you can kind of do what you want if you put your mind to something. I mean, to, topic, topic of this episode, you know, obviously this fits very well. But, like... Honestly, I th like, I remember when I ran like a 5k and I barely ran, but I also was like really light. I ran like a 24 minute, like 5k without even like training for it. That's really uh, good. That's actually really good. 
Yeah, I, I think I weighed like one, like I was probably one seventies, one like or like late or like like at the backside of one seventies, like almost one eighty. Like right now I'm one ninety seven. So I mean, it's almost like you know fifteen twenty pounds over like the weight I ran it at. But um, but yeah, I I don't know. I I what I need to do is sit down and like kind of see where uh, the training is gonna suffer because as yeah. you guys will know this like. Like probably we could talk about obviously, well, the topic of the ep- episode is like how to train for like a tough mutter, how to train for like, um, like a Spartan race is another word for it or, um, the warrior dash, which I did two warrior dashes, um, nice. but they're almost the same like style. Um, some will have obstacles and running at the same time, but to, on that note, before we talk about that, um, I need to sit down and kind of think about like when I want to start like training and running. Um, because I, I have to, if I'm going to be seriously doing it, I have to start doing it. Cause I couldn't tell you the last time I ran. Um, I'm good for those long walking bouts, but I haven't like ran in a while. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably sit down maybe with you or just maybe talk about it on the podcast and, and kind of go over like what I'm going to probably do. It's just going to be progressive overload. Like it's, I'm pretty going to pretty much treat it like high tree training. Like obviously 26 miles is the goal. Um, but you know, obviously like first month, like I'm not going to go over like five or six miles. Like that's probably not. Yeah. Yeah. And then like second month, I probably won't go over like 10 miles, you know, third month, I will probably won't go over like 12 miles. Like, you know, like slow, slow progressions. And obviously since I haven't like trained like this far running in, in like ever or my life i probably ran like 10 or 12 miles before like a half marathon like back in the day but nothing since then but i mean we'll see if if like i'm feeling sore or you know maybe an injury comes about but we'll see i'm hoping nothing would come about because i'm doing a lot of uh sled pushing a lot of knee training a lot of tibia training now and also with wearing like the zero drop shoes like, I feel like my feet are becoming, like, bulletproof, so. And also, I'm going to try to attempt to run in those shoes, Roman. Heck yeah. That'd instead of awesome. instead of those bunk-ass, those uh, hype shoes, running shoes that you guys always wear. Man, Hoka and Brooks, man, y'all need to stop. Man, like, these, these people are, literally, I went to a DSW. There's, like, 10 different styles of Brooks. I'm like, come on, guys. Yeah. Like you need to get some more variety in the store. Get like some zero drop shoes. Cause I was trying to find another pair. Like you got lucky. I, I didn't get lucky at all. Yeah. I found like zero drop, like Crocs. That's about it. And I yeah. was like, I don't need those. <laughs> um, That's what you're looking for. That's yeah. actually the start is footwear. Um, I would say in general, like running shoes are probably going to be the best for most people, but you want to find something that's like comfortable for you to be able to like 